Hey Facebook, Renee Ruth here. I am coming on today to talk about something that I've experienced very acutely, and that is change. And the one, something that struck me was driving back from the lake house this past weekend with my stepdaughter, because we'd spent Labor Day there, and talking about the things that had changed in our life and how she was coming home to a house that didn't have Joey in it anymore. And you know, she got kind of quiet and then she just said, why do things always have to change? And she's only seven and has experienced so much change in her life. You know, with a divided home, she's not always in the same place. She doesn't have the same people around her. You know, and in her short life, she's lost two pets. And, you know, it just seemed, she started to recount those things. You know, this change and this change and this change. And I found myself saying to her, baby, the only thing that's constant is change nothing stays or lasts forever and though my change recently was you know so very personal and deep because it was loss there's loads of change that we experience that creates discomfort that p renders us unable to move so you know i run a number of other businesses where you know you get the change is that you have somebody stop being a customer or a client or you have somebody you know you have a friend that leaves your life or something changes and it's big and it hurts and you know I even in my business to lose a customer there's that like gutted feeling for a second you're like what did I do you know and it's very hard in those moments to to see how you're meant to keep going and to you know recognizing that this change may not be a good change or feel like a positive change, but the change is necessary. And it just means that you are moving into whatever is next. Because as long as we're alive, we have things that we need to do. And I found it, I just found it interesting that, you know, my world seemed to stop last Wednesday, like just stop. But like everyone's world around kept going and everybody was really busy and everybody was just doing the same thing they always did. And I just, it, weird, it felt weird to me because I was like, how can they all do this? You know, not recognizing in the moment that I was the one that was experiencing that and everyone around me, while aware of what I was going through, like life goes on. And so I want you to remember that. If you're running into a situation where you, you know, you have a customer that's mean to you or you have something that derails you, you know, you have a financial situation that comes up that feels like it's the end of the world. It's those moments where it feels like it's the end of the world and you know that you've had them. I know if you're listening to them, it has, it doesn't even have to be death, though that is a very, very acute, you know, feeling, you know, but it can be a lot of different things where you just feel like I'm done. I give up. I'm done. And I think a lot of times we prematurely quit the things that we're supposed to be doing because we feel like it's too hard or it's too difficult or I can't get back up and do this. And I want to encourage you guys that you can. And that if you started something, you started it for a reason. And that regardless of what comes into your life that you know feels like it derails you, you're not derailed. You're just momentary, momentarily stalled. Maybe you're sitting in like a train station. Like there's just a time that you have where you have to kind of reset, regroup, and then retrain your brain because you're meant to go on and you're meant to thrive and you're meant to be successful. That's just the truth. So I hope you found this encouraging if you are in that boat because I definitely understand. I am right there with you. I have a paddle and I'm trying to figure out how to get this thing back in motion. So and just know that those moments are okay and it's fine to feel gutted and it's fine to feel like you can't do it anymore, but you have to remember you can and you will as long as you choose to. I hope you found this encouraging. I'm actually going to get back on the saddle and sing tonight. So I'm hoping that will be very therapeutic for me to get behind a microphone and do something incredibly joyful. And um, might even do two shows, doing one for Elon Elementary and then another one maybe at the restaurant. So I might come live later, but I'm getting back in it. And I know you can too. Hope you have a great day. Cheers.